Hello. In this video, I'll familiarize you with the components of the Unicam High Performance Tool and demonstrate how to properly prepare your tool for connectorization. Before we start terminating, let's take some time and familiarize ourselves with the Unicam Pretium tool. Remember to follow all safety procedures when working with tools or fiber optic products, and always remember to wear your safety glasses. This is the Unicam termination tool and is designed for ease of use in the left hand so that installer can cam and crimp without having to use a work surface. First we will open the cover and take a look inside. This switch right here is the on and off switch. When you turn your tool on, you'll receive a solid green light indicating your tool is ready for use. If a flashing green light occurs or no light turns on, the tool is telling you that you need to replace the batteries. The next light down is your error light and if you improperly set up your tool, it will flash an amber light informing you that there was a problem with the placement of the connector. This is your VFL coupler and it is what will inject the light into our connector for the continuity test. Attached to the coupler is the ferrule adapter and it is what will mate with your connector in order for the light to be injected into the connector. When you receive your new tool, the 2.5mm ferrule adapter will be installed in the tool for use with either the SC or ST compatible Unicam connectors. If using an LC Unicam, you will need to switch the ferrule adapter for the 1.25mm adapter which comes in your toolkit. The load button operates the connector cradle. By pressing the button in, it will raise the cradle and by depressing it, it will lower the cradle for a nice firm hold on the connector. The next lever down is the cam button which activates the mechanical splice of the factory terminated fiber stub and the field fiber. The reset button returns the cam button to its original position. These next two lights are your visual indicators of continuity after camming the connector. If the red light illuminates after pressing the cam button, you have not successfully made the two fibers together. If the green light illuminates, then the device is reading light passing through your connector. This light is not giving you a decibel reading, it is merely verifying that yes, light is passing through the connector. The last portion of the tool we are going to discuss is the crimp knob. After you press the cam button and the green light is illuminated, you need to turn this knob in order to provide the crimp that will firmly hold the fiber in the connector. Only one turn of the knob is needed and there is no need to worry about the amount of force applied. Next we are going to discuss the various connectors that can be used in the Unicam Pretium toolkit. There are two different configurations that Unicam connectors can be purchased in. They come in a single pack or an organizer pack of 25 connectors. If terminating on a 900 micron fiber, then either the single pack or organizer pack will work. If terminating on a jacketed cable, then purchase the single pack as it's the only one that comes with a jacket cable boot. Next we will discuss the different Unicam connectors and ensuring that they are ready to be used in our Unicam tool. First we will talk about the cam key location on the connectors. The connector needs to be in the open cam position when you insert it in the tool. SC connectors are in their open position when the key is 90 degrees from the date code on top. ST connectors are in their open position when the key is 90 degrees from the word up on top of the connector. LC connectors are in their open position when the key is 90 degrees from the latch. Now we'll discuss the preparation of your Unicam tool and connectors. Please refer to Chapter 3 of your installation instructions for the proper steps when you're installing the connector. We will be installing an SC connector, which means that the 2.5mm ferrule adapter should be installed within the tool. Switch the power on. Next, grab your connector, remove the dust cap and the plastic shroud protecting the lead-in tube. Grabbing the tool in our left hand, gently press down on the load button and insert your connector. Slide the VFL coupler down so the ferrule adapter is seated in the connector. Close the tool cover and check the air light to ensure that it remains off. If the air light flashes, you may need to remove the VFL coupler and reseat the connector. Your tool is now prepared and ready for fiber insertion.